Salut tout le monde, aujourd'hui on va voir si c'est si facile que ça d'acheter une arme aux états unis Alors faut pas oublier que je suis dans l'état de New York et que c'est un petit peu plus difficile Je crois qu'ils sont un petit peu plus stricts que dans les autres états On va voir ça tout de suite, hein. là on est dans, un, dans une boutique qui vend des armes qui s'appelle Scott's Gun Store Et ils ont beaucoup d'armes, beaucoup de fusils, ils ont même des mitraillettes Et William, big 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 selections hein. Those ones are way really long This would be like kind of cowboy gun style gun In New York, what do you need ou to buy a gun. It depends on the type of firearm. So, yeah. like a long gun, like most of the guns we have out here on the floor, the majority of those, all you would need is a state issued photo ID and the ability to pass a NICS background check. So that's a background check we do through the state police. How long does it take to, to get um, the background check? I would say the average NICS check probably takes maybe 15-20 minutes. So if it's good, you can just buy the guns? Yeah, as long as everything comes back good, they, they can take it with them. Something like like a semi-automatic rifle that requires okay. like a pistol permit okay. and the pistol permitting process is a little more tedious um, yeah. it usually takes about three to six months to get a pistol I, permit. you need references way. there's a course you need to take they do like fingerprints you know extensive background okay. check okay. that requires a lot more vetting to get something like a handgun or a semi-automatic okay. rifle in New York. and why do you think like we can buy those guns and live with them the same day and not those ones because both are kind of dangerous though they can kill and they can cause uh, Damage. That's a great question. <laughs> In the eyes of the state, they see the semi-automatic rifles as being more dangerous, and that's why they're more regulated. I mean, you know, any, yeah. any firearm is dangerous. That's that's just a fact. Something like that's popular for like home defense. That's primarily would be its purpose. What would you say the percentage of the population around here own a gun? I would guess probably more than 50%. What is the most popular guns, like handguns, that people buy? We saw a lot of like locks, a yeah. lot of small concealed carry yeah. handguns. And which one is the most powerful, you would say? The most powerful thing we're going to have here is like a 44 Magnum. Ah, okay. That's a Magnum? Yeah. On a vraiment une collection d'armes à feu. Il y en a absolument partout. Regardez ça. Il y en a pour tous les niveaux, débutants, confirmés, il y en a des tout petits, des celui-là, là, il tient dans la poche. On n'ai jamais vu autant de ma vie. What's the name of this one, then? So this is a uh, Smith Wesson Model 629, 44 Magnum. What are you getting today? Okay. It's more for like protection or just for fun? In my mind, fun, protection, all of it. It's really new for me because we don't have the same gun cultures in France. Mm -hmm. And I know in the US, lots of people they just keep their gun in their house, next to their bed sometimes. Mm, maybe it's like a peace of mind, I don't know. I, I would understand if you live in a, like, a bad neighborhood. I mean, like, I live out in the country. Yeah. There is not a lot of police. Like, if I have a problem, so you are the I'll police. be waiting. Okay, that makes so, sense then. So okay. I just, uh, you know. If you know they're not going to come anytime soon, yeah, no, then you, be, you better just do your own police. You never had any intruder? Or, never, no so trouble. It's mostly like reassuring to know that you have something. And, reassuring, yeah. yeah. And I just yeah. want to learn how to do it. Do you think it's better than like being in Texas and you can just buy one gun and live the same day with it? I don't know, man. <laughs> I think there's certain things that make sense, like background Like a checks, little bit you know, of, yeah. like maybe a little but, bit of both. Like, because... So my nephews, the ones in Maryland, he did everything proper. Like you gotta get the license, get the classes and all that. And his brother's living in Kansas. And he said he just walked in the store and walked right out. <laughs> it's down to each yeah. locale, like what, how yeah. the rules 25 are. 25 states, it's what they call constitutional carry, which is to say, if you do a background check, just like we're buying a rifle or a shotgun here, background check, if you're not a felon, you get the gun. So they do do a background check in Texas? Or There's always some form of background Well, you just don't hear that. I might get one one day. Who knows? I'm not uh, Americans enough yet. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh... You'll get there. How long have you been in Africa? Two years and a half. Two years? Two and a half? Bon, on va tenter de prendre une arme et de voir ce que ça donne, si c'est lourd ou pas. Et ceux-là, donc, ils sont quand même déjà assez impressionnants. Vous pouvez repartir avec le même jour. Il faut juste fournir un permis de conduire. Ils vont regarder vos antécédents euh, criminels. Si ça revient euh, nickel, et ben vous repartez avec le jour même. Isn't it more dangerous to have a gun at home? Because like when you have kids and if you don't really know how to... Well, just, just like anything else, it's, you know, you have to do it um, yeah. safely and yeah. responsibly, you know, so... Uh, Responsible gun owners should have all their guns locked up when they're not being used. Yes, yeah. we have not um, not everybody is responsible. You know that's the thing. Just like anything else, though, you know somebody could, you know, drive a car irresponsibly. That's true. Yeah, that's, so, that's true. That's um, true. You know, it does to to be a good 
gun owner, you know, you do have to be responsible and mindful of, of things like that. So that's a good comparison with the car because anyone can drive and anyone can kill yeah. someone with a car. And you, there's, yeah. you know, you see people every day driving reckless drunk or yeah, drunk high. And, yeah. yeah. Now that makes um, sense. Yeah. The U.S.'s basic difference is freedom is our the thing that we constantly yeah. repeat: freedom, freedom. There's always risks. Yeah. You know, we'd all like to be able to do anything we want, but that comes with risks. Yeah. And owning a firearm comes with risks. Yeah. But it also, if you handle it safely, it, it can be of advantage. Yeah. Uh, about three years ago, there were nine attempted home invasions in Elmira. This okay. Right here. Of the nine, one person was killed. He didn't have a gun. Eight of them were thwarted by people of Congress. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That, you know, yeah. I mean, that was... A, and probably an exceptional number of successes because usually people can get that quickly, you know? Yeah. But, but in this particular case, nine out of one person died, didn't have a gun, the other eight had guns. That's that was like three years ago right here in Elmira. But at least what I like in New York, it's, yeah, you can just come just and leave the yeah. same day with a gun. It's nice. Like it takes some time, like this guy, so it's more reassuring, I think. Yeah, as long as you've got a, you know, you've got a good legal background, yeah. you know, never been arrested. That's that's better. And you've done the, the homework they require to get the permit. Yeah, so you know how to use again. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yeah. Et ils étaient vraiment super sympas, c'est incroyable. Ils ont pris leur temps, ils m'ont absolument tout expliqué sur bah, la manière d'acheter une arme aux états unis et plus particulièrement dans l'état de New York parce qu'encore une fois c'est très spécifique. Chaque état a ses propres lois euh, par rapport euh, aux armes à feu et à l'achat d'armes à feu. New York c'est un des états les plus stricts aux états unis et donc on a vu que c'était vraiment c était, c était assez compliqué en fait hein, pour acheter une arme de poing, euh, un pistolet, il faut quand même 4 à 6 mois. Donc c'est quand même, c'est super long en France, je ne sais pas euh, combien de temps ça prend, hein, je regarderai, mais j'ai été assez surpris. Et il y a des états comme le Texas, où même dans ces états-là, ils font quand même un, un background check, c'est-à-dire une vérification des antécédents, pour voir euh, si vous avez des problèmes avec la, avec la justice, si vous êtes un criminel, si vous avez des problèmes psychiatriques. Donc voilà, je suis quand même content d'habiter à New York pour ça. N'importe hein, quel taré ne peut pas se pointer dans un magasin et repartir avec une arme à feu le jour même, sauf les fusils de chasse. Ça, par contre, voilà, c'est un petit problème parce que c'est fait pour la chasse, mais bon, on peut quand même tuer quelqu'un avec. Donc voilà, bon là, ça, vous pouvez l'acheter le, le jour même. Hein, comme il a dit, euh, je donne mon permis de conduire et regarde si j'ai jamais eu de problème d'antécédents criminels et euh, je peux l'acheter le jour même. Donc c'est la petite exception. Donc franchement, magasin adorable, super sympa. Euh, J'apprécie vraiment tout le temps qu'ils ont pris pour me parler. Euh, et ça s'appelle Scott's Guns. Euh, on est euh, donc euh, dans une petite ville qui s'appelle Horsehead dans l'état de New York. J'ai pas trouvé beaucoup de magasins d'armes à feu honnêtement ici. Hein. C'était euh, dans la ville où j'habite, il n'y en a pas, mais c'est une ville démocrate. C'est le seul à 60 km à la ronde. Donc je suis vraiment content d'avoir trouvé. Puis comme je l'aurais dit, on ne sait jamais, peut-être qu'un jour, quand je me serais vraiment américanisé, bah... Moi aussi, j'aurais ma... mon arme à feu. Hein. On ne sait pas. Hein. Je ne pense pas honnêtement, mais bon, on ne sait pas de quoi l'avenir sera fait. Et ben, merci d'avoir suivi cette vidéo jusqu'au bout si vous êtes encore là. Abonnez-vous à la chaîne si le... des contenus sur les états unis vous plaisent. Et puis, on se retrouvera dans une prochaine vidéo. Allez, à bientôt